Midnight Raven, and today we are playing the mystery bag. <laughs> the mystery bag game, or see what we can find. So, today we are doing tiger bags. If you don't know what tiger bags are, this is what a tiger surprise bag looks like. It's a tiger bag with a tiny little window, and it says surprise. And believe me, it is a surprise what's in these. So, if you go to Tiger, you'll find these usually just before you get to the till when you first come into the store. These are two pounds each and they have a minimum of two items in. The only way to see what's inside is the tiny little window. So you see that? Can you see anything in there? Not a lot. They're not very heavy these ones because these three are for kids, which is the three I got here. And then I got a special one which we will get to after we've done the first three. So if you haven't seen my previous tiger video, which I did, they were themed bags. There was a hobby bag, an office, a kitchen, and a party. I will link that somewhere up here or down below. And they were themed bags, which they've never done before. It's obviously something they're trying to encourage people to buy a bag, because would you buy a bag if you didn't know what was in it, like this? Or would you rather buy a bag if it said kitchen, or hobby, or for the office? You're probably more likely to buy it. So in these bags, there is a minimum of two items. They cost two quid, and these ones are more towards kits. So let's take a look. So like I said, minimum two items. And the first item is kind of directed at kids. These are cable ties, but they're cable ties that are like kiddish. So if you have like a TV or a games console in your kid's room, um, these are kind of cute. We've got an elephant one and a mouse one, and they're just cable ties, and it makes them look a bit more, I suppose, kid friendly. The idea is that you use these maybe in the kids' room, um, possibly, but you got them. The second item is, I don't think this is a kid's bag, um, this is a broom holder. So, on the back, you have the plastic thing which sticks to the wall, um, and then you have the holder which you put your broom in with suction cups, and it's in pink. I was told these were kid bags, but this doesn't look very really kiddish. And last of all, we have two little hose bags. They look like this. So these are like little gift bags, maybe. And then in the inside, like that. And then we've got a pink one, a glitter, again. Nothing inside. I guess these are like little gift bags. You could maybe put a gift card in there, maybe some money for a child, maybe. Um, cute. So that was what we got for two quid at the first bag. Not really kid themed, although the lady did ask whether I was looking for adult or kid ones. Um, and I said, to be honest, either. And she said, well, these were like kids. I'll put that one down there. Okay, bag number two. Can you see what's in there? Something spotty? So, oh, it's the mushroom card again. So, if you saw my previous video, we did get one of these in a bag. It is possible if you pick multiple bags that you get multiple items. And um, it is possible that you can get the same item. So this is a green envelope with a mushroom card. It is possible to get multiples. Unfortunately, I got four cards and envelopes in the last one. Next item is a cover self with selfie light. Ooh, so this is kind of cool. So this is a phone case. I'll show you this one because this is pretty cool. So this is a phone case and it has a selfie light in it. So you get your little charger and you get the little phone. And it's a 
can't really see it, but if I do it like this, you can see that the case here has lights down the side, and it is so bright. But it's like a selfie light, so it like, as you can see, lights me up. And it's the people that take selfies a lot. Um, and it's basically a phone case that goes on your phone, and it does selfies. Um, it's instead of obviously having uh, a ring light, I guess. So that goes there. So that's pretty cool. Next item is some ribbon. So we've got three times five meters of three different ribbons. We've got like white, pink, and a kind of bluey purple. That's kind of handy. You can type presents with this, um, buy birthday presents, Christmas presents. So that can be handy. Still got items in this one. Next, we have some decorative tape, 50 centimeters of this really glitzy, fancy kind of flower tape. That looks kind of cool. And another item. Well, this bag's the gift that gives. And last of all, we've got a little spoon. Look at him, that winky eye and that. This is actually going to go to my son because he comes over and he loves having yogurt. So this is going to be his dinky little yogurt spoon. He'll absolutely love that. So we've got the little yogurt spoon, uh, little tape, ribbons, the card, and the selfie light. So that one was definitely worth two quid. So we got like five items in that one. Next bag is this one. Again, minimum of two items. And first we have is some pins. We have a hand, some lips, and a foot. Don't know where you would stick them, maybe a jean jacket. Kind of looks cool. Next item we have is a Samsung Galaxy S8 sticker skin. So this is just blue, excuse the marks on there, but it is just blue glitter. And it goes to a Samsung Galaxy S8, which I don't have, unfortunately. I don't have a Samsung, um, but it will look cute. And then we have DIY accessories. If anyone knows what this is for, um, answers on a postcard. I'm not very sure what these are for, but they're like little rings. I have no idea, and there is no description on the back. It just says it's empty. And last of all, oh, it's called a cozy lamp. So this is like a blue cozy lamp seashell. So um, you take the little um, filament out of the back. And this apparently lights up. I don't know if you can turn it on or off or whether it's just lit from the minute you take it out. But that's kind of cool. It's like a little shell. Pretty sweet. So we get that. The uh, sticker, the DIY accessory, and the pins. So they're worth two quid. And then that was the three bags at two pounds each, which we didn't do too badly. Now we come to the big boy. Mm. This one, which as you can see, is the daddy of the bags. This one was worth a fiver. Question is, did I get the value for a fiver as I did for the two pound ones? Mm. Question. Again, kind of the window. This window seems even smaller. But the bag was a fiver, and they don't do these very often. The last time I got a bag like this was when I went to Birmingham. And I went to the Tiger in Birmingham, and I got a couple of these. So, first item. Did I get a fiver's worth? Hmm. Knitting needles. Aluminium, 2.5 millimeter knitting needles. Never knitted, can't actually uh, post these, unfortunately, so I'm probably going to have to donate these because these can't go on eBay and be sold because I couldn't post them because <laughs> they'd be sharp. So knitting needles, not a bad one. 
Next item is gift boxes times 10 in little suits. So use this for a wedding, a birthday, an anniversary maybe. And they look like this. They're the little gift boxes that you put wedding favours in. Um, and as people unfortunately haven't been able to get married through COVID, um, these would come in handy now that weddings are actually allowed. What else did we get for a fiver? Ooh, we got a hat. So this is a shoe beanie. It looks like this. So it's purple and black. And cool. Let's see what it looks like on. I'll probably keep this. It looks really cool. I mean, I'm not one for beanies. Um, how do I look? Does it look good? Where we're up in the leaning. It's like a million degrees at the minute, so a beanie wouldn't exactly be good. But this is obviously from like the winter stock. So it's really fluffy. And then it's got like glitter flecks in it. Kind of cool. And then, cool. Oh, cool. So we have a headphone set with case. How cool is this? So down the bottom here, we have a surround case. And then you've got the headphones, the connector, and the little mic. And they all come together in this little set. That's kind of cool. Headset with microphone. I do actually need a new pair of headphones, mind you. So for five pounds, we got the headphones in the case, which is pretty cool. That's worth at least two quid. We got the bobbly hat, that could be a pound or two. Um, another one of these as well. Um, so what are we two, four, five plus these, uh, maybe six, seven, eight pounds altogether for these. You could probably get these for two or three in the hat, maybe two or three is so a six. Seven, so maybe eight pounds in total for a fiver. Like I said, these bags are a hit and miss. Like I said, you've got knitting needles, headphones, um, a woolly hat, which is pretty cool. I actually kind of like it. And then you obviously have the little wedding favour boxes. So all in all, uh, that bag was a fiver. Do I think I got five pounds worth? Yeah, I do. The headphones are like three. The hat is three. Box is probably a pound, the knitting needle is probably a pound, so I got between five and eight pounds worth of value for a fiver. Like I said, these are mystery bags. Nothing is given to you apart from the tiny window, so there's nothing else that you can see, unfortunately. Um, so we got the bag for a fiver. Then the best thing at this bag would have been, I think I have to say that the the shell light was probably my best one at that bag. The best thing at this bag was probably the cable ties, they're kind of cool. And then the best thing out of this bag, I would say, was probably the selfie lights, which was pretty cool. I might actually keep that, but it doesn't fit my phone, which is a shame. And then the big bag, I think the best item was probably the headphones followed by the hat, or possibly they're on the same wavelength. So in all in all, in all in all, these bags were two quid and the big bag was a fiver. In each bag, you do get to the value of what you paid for. The only problem is you may not like the fact that it's a mystery. So if you don't like these ones that are like mystery, Go for the previous video I did, if you didn't see that, I'll link that down below or up there, that did individual themed bags, like kitchen, hobby, office, party, and I think they were the four themes, I can't remember if there was any more, um, or if you want to really go for a gamble, go for the five pound one and really push the boat out, because you never know what's in these. The fact that they're Tiger surprise bags means that at some point these items were sold in Tiger and every month Tiger swaps their stuff around due to the seasons, the months, and they change them. Instead of getting rid of stock and just throwing it away to landfill and that, they put them in these mystery bags and sell them for bargain prices, which I think is perfect. It's eco-friendly, it's recyclable. If you then don't like the items you get in the surprise bag, take to your local donation and charity shop and donate them. 
sell them at your local fair, sell them at your local car booth and make a bit of change. Um, so you can make money on whatever's in these. You might find that you like the stuff. I like the headphones and the hat and loads of other stuff. But if you want to check out the first part in this two part video, I will link it up here or down below. Also, if you didn't see my birthday vlog, which was where I got these from, I will link that somewhere as well if you want to see that. This is my new flat, just in case you are new to my channel and wondering where Raven has been. This is my new flat. It's a work in progress. You haven't had a full flat tour yet because it still doesn't have carpet. It's still not painted and I've literally been in here for weeks, so <laughs> bear with me. But you will get a flat tour very soon. And if you want to see more from me, give me a big thumbs up, like and subscribe. Check out your local Tiger for the surprise bags. I also have a playlist if you want to check that out. I will link that somewhere as well where I have all my playlists for my Tiger bags that I've ever done. And I've done quite a few of these now. And I will hopefully see you for another video very soon. And if you are hot like me, um, <laughs> good luck for the rest of the summer. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.